this time. I grew up with the Orioles, man. They are ingrained in my soul. And as many of you know, as we said, uh, 40 years in the local TV business, I am retiring. Today is my last day. This is my last show, actually. We're calling it semi-retiring here at WBAL. I'll continue to do the Ravens pre- and post-game shows for WBAL and radio upstairs and work with Pete Gilbert on Sunday Sports Extra here on TV 11 during the football season. Uh, but as far as the day-to-day -day grind of getting up at 1.30 a.m., this is it. And with that said, I have a studio full of thank, you, thank yous that I want to share. I grew up a child of TV, as you may know, in Baltimore. My father worked at another TV station right here on TV Hill for 40 years and gave me one incredibly important piece of advice when I started 40 years ago. Take care of the people who take care of you. In this building, that is not hard. A group of men and women as talented as I have ever worked with. Executive producer Mike Salaki and producer Bill Baker. Gentlemen, thank you. Not enough time in the day to share my immense respect for you. Pat Trent, Sharon Hartless Spriggs, Cam McKee, Susan McDonald. Ladies, thank you for what you do for all of us who stand in front of these cameras. And Jimmy McKinnon, our kids went to high school together, brother, and you are family. As many of you know, again, I was damaged goods when I got here, arrived 13 years ago. A drug addiction hit me hard, and by the time I was able to get out of my own way and listen to the people who were trying to help me, I had lost the respect of my kids, gotten fired from my job at Channel 2, and was in deep trouble. And then WBAL called. Ed Kiernan of WBAL Radio and 98 Rock, Jordan Wortley and Michelle Budd here in TV. They gave me a second chance. And now Dan Jarris and Tim Tunison have allowed me to share this studio with some truly remarkable men and women. A collection of talent second to none. First, my good buddy Stan Stovall, Jason Newton, who you just heard, Ava, Ava Lacey, Theo, Jen Franciotti, and my own guardian angel here at WBAL, Mindy Becerra. I love you all very much, and I will close out by stealing a line from my mentor and great friend, Vince Bagley, who shared this studio, lived in this studio for over 40 years. His catchphrase was, it has been a pleasure, and it really has. I will never forget everybody. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was incredible. Oh. All right. Only this the, man can get the two birds the Ravens here, right? <laughs> That is very cool. That is cool. fantastic. Keith, mm -hmm. you're a class act. We love every minute of you. No one knows more people in Baltimore than this man right here, Keith Mills. He knows everybody on every level. And for you, you treat everybody the same, no matter who they are. And, and that's always been the, one of the most genuine qualities about you. You are an amazing man, and we've uh, been so lucky to have you mm -hmm. here. We all feel the very home same home. way. That's, 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 that's extremely humble. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you were always asking me for reports in Florida because you spent a lot of your time there. But please, I want to hear from you, but I do not want to hear about Florida weather because I'm going to be so jealous. <laughs> so call and tell me how bad it is down there. I, I can call and say it's, it's 75 at 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> La ladies and, and my, my friends. You are the best. Thank We're you very much. You. This has been a very humbling experience throughout the week. Oh, we love you, Keith. We really do. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very right. much. <laughs>